up guys it's Kota here with another video and somebody asked me to do this Tekken 7 Faded Retribution Arcade trailer which I was going to totally ignore and not do it all until I was asked to do it and basically I didn't even care for uploading the video on it but since I was asked to now I care about uploading the video on it and you guys are going to get my opinion on the trailer but for the fact that I haven't talked about the trailer and usually you know when the trailer is out I would talk about it and I haven't talked about it yeah it's gonna call for me talking about the trailer and give my opinion instead of just giving my opinion alright let's go guys um the first thing I really want to discuss is um uh, how they did a good job on the graphics now I know that Namco I shouldn't expect any Square Enix type job from Namco where they just have the most super mega ultra outstanding graphics but these graphics were great. It's like every time I see a Tekken 7 trailer, um, the graphics are more improved than the last time. Ever since Faded Retribution was first announced, I was like, dang, that's freaking dope. Now, I do have one problem with this, and um, that's how the wind is in terms of these characters. How the wind is affecting the characters. Um, they try to make it look more realistic with their clothes and hair moving but actually it makes their hair look like it's moving a little bit unrealistically and unnatural but that's a just a little problem on that moving on to what <laughs> I think a lot of people want me to talk about Akuma now I love Namco for what they did they're like okay you guys think Akuma's gonna be cheap in the game let us show you how you fight against Akuma you can sidestep the Hadouken and it's possibly the Hadouken is actually um possibly launch punishable where I believe it is launch punishable actually and they just didn't say anything about the launch punishable part um <coughs> strictly because you can probably judge the rest off yourself you can hop over the Hadouken with your aerial moves just like Kazuya with his flying kick over his Hadouken and you can also get a good punish from sidestepping a Hadouken. Hadoukens can't go through armor moves um, and even when Akuma tries to combo a Hadoukens, um, it doesn't exactly string together in certain ways. But the thing that people really want me to talk about is the fact that Akuma has the EX bar. How the heck do I feel about that? Um, this is what it is, guys. I'm not even really caring about Tekken. The more they put, the more they put Street Fighter elements into Tekken, I'm caring about less and less. Because I don't play Tekken to play Street Fighter. I play Tekken to play Tekken. Now, and if Tekken all of a sudden turns into this different game, I don't want to play Tekken anymore. I'm going to probably still buy Tekken, but um, probably won't be playing on the new Tekkens. I'll be more so playing for some of the older Tekkens. But if Tekken transforms to the point where it doesn't even feel like Tekken anymore, what's the point of me playing Tekken? I mean... Answer me that question. What, what would be the point of me playing Tekken? Because it won't be Tekken no more. It'll be something else. Um, but anyway, the only bad thing on Akuma right now is he gets a combo off of a little low kick, which I'm like, what? What the heck? That's bull crap. He, he gets a combo off of a small... I'm, I'm not even going to discuss that anymore. Anyway, there's different ways to um waste your rage meter now. Yeah. So you have um, automatic combos and Gigas can even charge at you instead of using his rage art. And which just doesn't make the game better. At first I was thinking, no, um, after a while I started thinking this is pointless to extend your combos. But I'm also thinking you can do triple bounds in Tekken 7. And um, for those of you who don't believe me about triple bounds, uh, keep not believing me. Keep not believing me. But you can do triple bounds on Tekken 7, and the damage on that is OP. Now, adding this to it even makes Tekken 7 worse. So, I mean, with their all their good ideas, they're trying to make something good, but they're turning it into something bad with these automatic combos. Something I did sort of like was the um, Street Fighter balancing concept in terms of rage arts. Um, as you can see, they showed Asuka in two different health bar percentages, and she'll do more damage if her health is lower than when her health is higher. But 
I, I don't know if I too much agree with that in terms of a Tekken game, actually. Um, because on Tekken 7, the way they had it where it does a set amount of damage, that was okay, but now you can do a different amount of damage. And it, it actually was better as a competitive fighting game when it was a set amount of damage. Street Fighter doing it, that's okay, but Tekken doing it, um, the way Tekken setup is, See the way Tekken setup is though. <laughs> but anyway guys, um they also showed that they have a another way for you to connect like three different ways to through Tekken 7, which would be a phone connection um through the Tekken net. Now the Tekken net was pretty much linking you in to different fights and statistics. Kind of what I'm, this Tekken net is something that's kind of sparking hope for me. That we'll have something sort of like Tekken World Federation again. Or we'll have these teams up. Now when they announce something like this, this gives the team opportunity again. And you guys know during the beginning of Tekken Tag 2, that was when it was popping. As long as that Tekken World Federation site can't stayed up. After that site went down, Tekken Tag 2 started going down in terms of who stayed on it. And, um, they're also saying that you can save your costumes from the original Tekken 7 to Tekken 7, um, Faded Retribution, so, no big worries about that. And, um, Tekken 7 will also be tied into PlayStation VR, which is a thing with virtual reality that PlayStation actually has, which is pretty interesting. Um, the bad thing would be is the fact that I don't believe you're going to be able to use um, PlayStation VR to fight as a character. Now, VR was, I believe, originally codenamed Project Morpheus, but you guys shouldn't quote everything I say in terms of VR because I haven't been paying much attention to that because I don't too much even care about it. But for those of you who do, yeah, Tekken is somehow tying the VR system into itself on Tekken 7, but don't count on it being um, a tie-in to where you actually get to play a character like that. So don't don't count on that, guys, because uh, that hasn't been confirmed or anything. But regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you guys have anything else to say about this trailer, because this trailer was cool and horrible to me at the same time, because um, as they release more new stuff, it's like it gets worse technically to me to the point where it's making me not want to play tagging anymore but at the same time i do like these new costumes too but let me know you guys opinion comment below guys peace